Anyway, moving on away from Fuji. We got China's dogs! Two of them! We got Wang Zi and Pu Tao Gong. Um, Wang Zi, um, usually the reason for this name, usually the characters, like Chinese characters for Prince, is found on the wrinkle of the pug's forehead. So China named it the equivalent of the Prince, which, ironically enough, it's mostly just the more prominent character is Wang, which, you know, it's his name. He's like, yes, this, this thing is me. And, you know, add on the other character to make a prince. And then, uh, the Sharpei is new. She, she's new. She, Pu Tao Gong is a girl, and Wang Zhe is a guy. And she's kind of fat. She's really wrinkly, and she's black. So she looks like a raisin. So Pu Tao Gong means raisin. He's not the most creative, but it's cute. <laughs> Wang Zhe is, he, he, he's a very odd gremlin of a pug. He just howls and drews weird and ro crawls around on his legs. And he is weird. <laughs> and China's like, holy shit, are you counting your mother ship? Wow. <laughs> and meanwhile, America's shocked and was like, so wait, what's on his forehead? And he's like, uh, his name is Wang Zhe? It, the wang is on his forehead, so I did. You, you, this dog has wang on its head. No, wang. This is basically the same thing. Oh, you poor dog! You have a dick on your face. <laughs> and China's like, ah, you dumbass. Meanwhile, um, Sharpei uh, is a um, I forget if it's Chinese, but it basically means like um, sand fur. Or something like that. Sand paper. Not, not sand paper, like sand fur. Because it feels really weird to pet it. It feels really weird to the touch. But it looks soft! And so, China likes to trick people to pet Putagong without gloves on. Because she feels very strange to pet. So, like, and it's like, hey, you should pet my dog. I just gave her a bat. Uh, Alright. Oh, God! Uh, she feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she do. <laughs> but the only one who can is Russia. Just pets her without even flinching. I'm like, oh, cute puppy. And China's like, damn. Put the gong's just happy. I'm like, yay, someone's petting me and giving me positive attention without being weird and then going away. <laughs> sweet, sweet Put gong. Yeah. And now, now we get to talk about England's dog, Winston. Oh, Winston. Oh, man, Winston's great. Named after Winston Churchill, because why not? And also, got, got, got wrinkle face. Yep. Love, love <laughs> the face. Like, everybody, everybody only wants to hang out with England when he's watching the Queen's corgis, because it's like, ah, oh, corgis, like, you're corgis, like, they're not my corgis they're not my dogs they're the queens so now he has a dog of his own and no one wants to hang out with it because it's drooly and weird and snorty and, and snorty and snuffly yeah. but but it's his wrinkle baby even though it's it, it's an adult dog but he still just coddles and babies the thing like Puts it in little outfits and takes lots of pictures and talks to it a lot. England is just a weird empty nester and it shows through how he takes care of Winston. Like, people are kind of just grossed out by this snorty, slobbery mess, but like, England loves him. It's a face only a mother can love. <laughs> like, I imagine sometimes he like makes breakfast for it, like... Every Sunday just makes a bunch of eggs to put in its kibble and stuff. And this is like this, this is stuff of like, why? Okay. And and one more thing, like whenever like England is watching the corgis and Winston's there, because you know dogs. Dogs hanging out. Whenever other people come over to try and get in on the corgi time, England likes to sick Winston on the guests. So it's like, haha. You came for dogs? Here's this dog! And just licks, and it's just around. Yep. Like, I can imagine one trick being doing, and it's like, you know, lay down. And just, just wait. Just be like, come here, puppies! And it's like, come here, and then all the corgis just rush him at once, and they're like, oh god, this is heaven! And here comes Winston. <laughs> <laughs> Slobber and licking all over, and it's just a wet mess, and he goes like, ha ha! Uh, 
uh, people are worried about him because it's like, oh god, it's, 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 it's sort of endearing, but it's also kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> Next we have, um, we have Prush's dog, Fritzy! Yeah! Oh, Fritzy! Uh, he's named after um, Old Fritz because uh, when Fritz was alive, he owned so many Italian greyhounds in his life, so Prussia got one in memorial of him. Name him Little Fritz. He loves this dog so much. He babies it, but not as creepy as England does it. Like, yeah, yeah. like, you know, e England's got that weird empty nester vibe going on. Prussia's just like. Oh, I love you so much. I'm just gonna put you in a costume because it's funny. Yeah, because it is canny to try to put Germany's things into costumes. Yep. But now he has someone to do it to himself. Yep. Like, look, he's in funny pajamas. Gotta, got, gotta keep it warm in the winter. And Germany's like, why? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's your dog. I can't do anything about it. Yeah, and, and sometimes he'll just, like, be with Fritzy just cooing like who's a baby and Germany gets a little bit jealous yeah it's like who's a baby Dude, I'm over here oh <laughs> talking to <you. laughs> yeah cause we we like to joke around a lot that in the modern day Prussia just likes to coddle and slightly baby Germany just because, like, he couldn't actually do that when Germany was young. So now that th things are chill and they're not in mortal danger all the time, he can just give Germany the embarrassingly affectionate childhood he never had. Yep. Like, the Who is the Baby is my literal favorite example of this. <laughs> yes. Like, do you want to try it? <laughs> sure, because, like, Yay. we just... We just always imagine, just like, even or even especially in public, just Prussia <laughs> being like, especially, yeah, just being like, who's a baby? Oh, please no! Come on, come on, who's a baby? I'm not doing this. This is Best, embarrassing. Who's a baby? This is embarrassing. Oh, just do it, do it. For uh, you. Who's a baby? I'm the baby. That's right, you're the baby. You'll always be my little baby brother. Uh, <laughs> because I love you. I love you too. Yeah, just being gross and embarrassing because he can. Yeah, so when this little Fritzy comes around and he's doing the who's the baby to him, like sometimes just Germany fucking snaps and he's like, I'm the baby! <laughs> and Fritzy's like, of, of course you are. Fritzy's just a dog. <laughs> You can both be my babies. I, I can call you baby more if you want. Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> more bonding time. <laughs> but, yeah. Fritzy is small and twig because Italian greyhound. Yeah, they do that. He has zoom. Yeah. He's got so much zoomies, it's He's crazy. He's got so much zoomies. Yep. He's also very small and frail and easy toppled over by Rika. Because Rika is huge twigs. Mm -hmm. A bunch of huge f fluffy sticks. That's what she is. Mm -hmm. So when she, she sniffed this dog, she's just like, Oh, what, 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 what are you? Can I play? And then just blop. <laughs> Prussia shrieks. He's like, Ah, my poor baby, are you having any fun? I don't think he's like at the arm. I mean, he just fell over. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Russia can't win. Yeah. Then we got next dog. France! He's got Marie! Yeah! Marie's, again, like a standard poodle. And he grooms her to be really fancy looking around competition or contest season. So he's into that of like, yeah, I get to be all the frou-frou doggy. And... He goes really over the top. He knows how to do his grooming. That's why he named her Marie. For Marie Antoinette. So you get the really f fucking weird designs, but they're also very classy. So he wins quite a bit of competitions. Not always, but good portion. And Jeremy's like, eh, you're just using her as a frou-frou tool when she's supposed to be doing other things. But that's the thing. Yes, poodles are originally hunter dogs to get, like, waterfowl and stuff. And on the off-season, that's what he does! Just 
they go out hunting and he gets waterfowl and stuff like that. So Germany's kind of conflicted in the emotions of she's doing her purpose in life but still being used as a tool. Okay. Well, as a fancy <laughs> yeah, toy. Yeah, it's like m more or less just fashion doll. Yeah. Like, it's a thing. He just gets worried. Yep. But it's like... France always treats Marie so well. Yeah, she, she gets the good stuff. She yeah. gets spoiled, but in this working spoiled of like, yeah, you earned your reward sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. And that just leaves us with Tartufo! Tartufo! Yeah, Romano's dog. I really love Tartufo. I love Tartufo so much. Like, you know, Tartufo, it, it's Italian for truffle. And it's like, uh, Legato Romagnolo, isn't that the mm -hmm. name? And it's, you know, it's a truffle hunting dog. Like, people in Italy use it to hunt for truffles, and that's what Romano uses. Which is like a rare mushroom, by the way, yeah, for those yeah. who don't know. And like, Romano, being the type who, of course, he doesn't want to, like, seem super attached to dogs, so he's like, Okay, whatever, I'm just using you to get truffles, so I guess I'll call you Truffle, whatever. So, Tartufo. That's, that's his name. Ta-da! And so, you know, they go out and get truffles, and like, Romano will just, you know, use them himself, or sell extra, because, you know, you can get some good money out of them. Mm -hmm. And even though Romano is soon soon because that's how he always is, he, he does love his doggy and secretly spoils him. Like, Tartufo gets to sleep on the bed with Romano when Italy's not around. Because, like, it started out just like, you know, Romano's in bed, Tartufo, you know, your dog, you sleep in the dog bed over there. But, but Tartufo just wanted to stay close and, and wanted to be in, in the bed with Romano. And would whine until finally her mouth's just like, oh, fine, whatever, I guess, but just for tonight. It's not tonight. No, it, it kept going. It's even funnier when Italy comes back around, because it's like, there's a dog in my bed! <laughs> and Tartufo's like, someone's in my spot. Just lays on him. <laughs> and Romano's like, uh, why? You need to be, I need to show I have discipline in front of my brother. But no. Italy's like, I love this dog! Italy don't have a dog yet, but maybe yeah, someday. Yeah, we, we haven't come up with a dog for Veneziano. That's what we should say. Like, yeah. Because that's the thing, is that none of this is, like, absolutely final or static. We can always come up with new dogs. Anyone can come up with new dogs. That's why this is the best AU. Yeah, it's like, do you not like these dogs? Switch them out! Do you like these dogs and want to do other ones that you might think like? And the more! Because, like, while we do say, like, one to three, like... That's not also set in stone either. You can give people more dogs if you want. Yeah. Like, any anybody can have dogs. That's that's the joy of this. It's just, it's simple, pure fun with dogs and happiness. I mean, like, you know, sometimes you'll get a, a little bit of emotions with, like, Fuji's story and stuff. Yeah. But for the most part, it's just like, everybody has dogs. Dog fun. Yay. Yeah. And they just do things, like, not even in the sentient way, but more of the dog doing dog things and yeah. everyone reacting to said things. Like, Rika's being loved by everyone mm -hmm. and bringing Russia trouble. Yeah. And just everybody else. And yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. We talk about this for years, like more than a year now, especially. So I thought it would be fitting to maybe finally bring this AU to light, at least. Even if we add more later or don't. It's just, it's good stuff. Yeah, because it's just a fun little something to play with when we just want to talk about some good nice. things. Yeah, it's a nice go-to when you, you need to pick me up. It's like just talking about the dog things. Yeah, just everyone caring for their dogs, playing with their dogs, dogs being dogs. Yeah, man. Everyone playing tricks on each other with their dogs. Yep. Yes. It's great. I love all of these dogs. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, any last words on Dog Owner AU? 
I love all of them. Yes. I love all of them so much. The, the, they're they're all they're all g good doggies deep down. Yes. And if some of you might know, you might have already seen some references I've left for Rika in places. <laughs> Because Rika's been around for a long while, so I've kind of snuck her in some of my games, like, both coming up and sort of in the past. Like, I know I stuck a, her in Diamantalia as a reference. Mm -hmm. And in other games coming up, she's gonna have more references in there, because I love this doggy. <laughs> she's great. Yeah, that's the thing, is that it's like, Rika is the only one who's sort of, like, kind of made a crossover out of, like the exclusive dog owner AU. Mm -hmm. The only one who's gotten close is Winston. That's true, but that's just because Winston is great. Winston and just, is great. Just England being a weird empty nester is the best thing in the world. He's based off of my parents. <laughs> no, seriously, when me and my sister went out, they got a dog, and... Oh, God. The empty nester is very obvious. And it makes me laugh. <laughs> Yeah, so that's things. And who knows, we might make fix in the future with them around. Just like, not, e not even as a main player, just like around. Because mm -hmm. they're all good. They're all good characters in their own respect. Mm -hmm. They lead to good things. Yes. Yeah, so I think that's about it. Any yeah. final thoughts from you? Uh, not that I can really think of. Just that, yeah, it's, it's a fun AU that can be enjoyed by everyone. So yes, enjoy. Yes, enjoy it indeed. Because we all need some good heartedness. Yeah. Yeah, so that's it for us and all the doggies. So have a good day, everybody. Bye. Bye.